source water is a valuable asset that we all use in our daily lives. Source water is the untreated supply of water from the surface or in the ground used for drinking water. The water flows from the source to a facility where it's treated and then to your home. However, there are many activities that can introduce harmful contaminants into the water, threatening its quality and potentially making it unfit for use. Fertilizers and pesticides used in agriculture can easily be washed off fields during a rain event and carried into nearby lakes or streams. Farm animals that drink from rivers and streams can also introduce contaminants when their waste enters source water. In residential developments, buildings and pavement limit the natural filtration that vegetation and soil provide, which can allow contaminants such as trash or oil to enter the source water. Recreational activities, such as swimming or boating, are popular in communities with surface water. However, if that surface water is also source water, these recreational activities could introduce litter or other pollutants. Industrial activities like manufacturing can be a significant source of contamination. Improper disposal of chemicals used in manufacturing can degrade water quality. These contaminants can affect everything from the largest water systems to individual private wells. So, what can we do to protect source water from these threats and ensure the safety of our drinking water? Fertilizers and pesticides should be properly contained or disposed of. Animals can be kept and fed in pens instead of being allowed to roam freely around lakes and streams. Trees, shrubs, or grasses can be planted along the edges of residential developments to act as a buffer and help prevent contaminated runoff from reaching lakes or streams. Recreation can be restricted or limited in areas surrounding source water. Manufacturing can be better regulated to prevent irresponsible dumping. While source water protection is a vital first step to protect the quality of your drinking water, it doesn't stop there. The next steps include treatment, distribution, testing, and training, which all contribute to the safety of your water. Think of each step in the process as a piece of Swiss cheese. If any contaminants make it through one piece of cheese, the next piece is there to block it. This process is called the multiple barrier approach. Each barrier gives a layer of protection. And while each step is a good measure on its own, together, they are the most effective in ensuring water quality. So why focus on source water protection if there's other layers of protection? The process of treating water starts simple, but can grow more and more costly the dirtier the water is to begin with. Protecting water at the source not only ensures better quality, but also reduces the cost of getting that water from its source to your faucet. It's important for utilities and communities to think about source water as an asset, just like a pipe or a fire hydrant. These assets, called gray assets, are monitored and maintained so that they are fully functional and performing adequately. Source water is a green, natural asset and should be monitored, maintained, regularly tested, regulated, and protected in all the same ways to provide the highest quality drinking water. For more water and wastewater educational content, subscribe.